Welcome to Bits of History, brought to you by the Seward Community Library and Museum. My name is Lee Poleski. This bit is about the legendary All-Alaska Sweepstakes Race, the pioneer long-distance sled dog race in Alaska, which was one of the main inspirations for the Iditarod Trail sled dog race. Residents of Nome formed the Nome Kennel Club in 1907 to improve the care and breeding of sled dogs and to make sled dog racing a recognized part of the life of the community. To find out whose dogs were the best, it was decided to have an annual All-Alaska Sweepstakes race. There was a heated debate over the length of the race. Scotty Allen, a respected dog musher in Nome, proposed a long race because, as he said, endurance and stamina are what counts in dogs and men in the north. His proposal of a race across the Seward Peninsula from Nome to Candle and back, a distance of 408 miles, was accepted. The race was over a terrain described by Episcopal Archdeacon Hudson Stuck in his 1914 book, 10,000 Miles with a Dog Sled, as a savage, forbidden, forbidding country of naked rock and bare hillside and desolate barren valley and cursed was a perpetual icy, icy blast. Every dog and driver entered in the race had to be registered with the kennel club. Photographs were taken and a description recorded of each dog, for it was the rule that each driver had to return with all the dogs he started with. The winning purse varied over the years depending on the state of the local economy. The first All-Alaska Sweepstakes race in April 1908 was won by John Hugness, driving a nail dog team pulling a freight sled. The prize was $10,000. Gambling was always a major part of the sweepstakes. Telephone lines ran parallel to the course and reports from roadhouses, camps, and villages were uh, phoned in and posted on the blackboard at the Border Trade Saloon in Nome. In the 1909 race, Lewis Tressup drove a team of Siberian Huskies owned by William Gosak. Nome resident Fox Ramsey was so impressed with them that he traveled to Siberia the following summer and purchased several Huskies. In 1910, he entered three teams of Siberians in a race. One of them, driven by John Ironman Johnson, won the race in a record time of 74 hours, 29 minutes, and 41 seconds. Ramsey, driving one of his own teams, came in third. One of the best known of the sweepstakes racers was Scotty Allen and his lead dog, Baldy owned by the Darling Kennel, Darling Allen Racing Kennels. Baldy, like most sled dogs of that period, was a mixed breed. Esther Birchell Darling, co-owner of the kennel, wrote Baldy of Nome, a novel about Baldy and dog mushing in Nome. First published in 1913, it made him one of the best-known dogs of the time. Scotty Allen won the sweepstakes three times, 1909, 1911, and 1912. Leonard Seppla and his lead dog Togo also won the race three times, 1915, 1916, and 1970. Togo was a direct descendant of the Siberian dogs brought to Alaska by Fox Ramsey. John Ironman Johnson won twice, 1910 and 1914. Faye Delzine won in 1913. The All-Alaska Sweepstakes was run from 1908 to 1917. According to Esther Birchell Darling, the races were discontinued after 1917 because of World War I. In 1916, the French Army had purchased 106 dogs in Nome for use in carrying supplies and wounded in the Vosges Mountains on the Western Front. Also at that time, gold mining declined. The need for dog teams for hauling freight to and from the mines diminished. Leonard Seppler said, whether the war had anything to do with the secession of the race or whether there were no teams suitable for competition, I do not know. However, I doubt there will ever be a dog race instituted which will so test the mettle of dogs and driver as did the All-Alaska Sweepstakes. It was not until 1983 that another All-Alaska Sweepstakes race was held. That year, the Nome Kennel Club organized a race to commemorate the 17th anniversary of the first race. 23 mushers entered the race for a $25,000 winner-take-all prize. Rick Swenson won the time, won the race in a time of 84 hours and 42 minutes. 
about 10 hours slower than the record set by Iron Man Johnson in 1910. In 2008, the Nome Kennel Club held a 100th anniversary All-Alaska Sweepstakes race. The prize was $100,000, and 17 mushers entered the race. The winner was Seward Musher Mitch Seavey, with a time of 61 hours, 29 minutes, and 41 seconds, beating Iron Man Johnson's time by 13 hours, 15 minutes, and 24 seconds. As a footnote to this bit, Seward's newspaper, the Seward Gateway, in a July 6, 1915 article about the first Mount Marathon race, predicted that the Mount Marathon is a contest which ought to become as famous as the Alaska sweepstakes. Within two years of that prediction, the sweepstakes had ended, but the Mount Marathon race is still being run. Thank you for listening to this bit of history, and remember, to learn more about Seward's interesting past, visit the Seward Community Library Museum at its new location at the corner of 6th and Adams. <laughs>